Okay. Yeah, the reason I won't be able to offer you a convincing explanation right now is because I haven't gotten into the full-blown details of this algorithm. Because in fact, the way I've described it here, it seems that this algorithm is not even sorting in place, right? Because I said that, you know, you take the input array, you insert them into uh, a heap as if, you know, the heap is being stored separately. And then, you know, you run, you run these remove max operations n times and then you store them in a separate result array R. So the way I'm describing it, right now makes it appear as if we are not sorting it in place. Now that's of course one way you can implement it, but it turns out that it's possible to implement heap sort in a way that it is in place. But unless I show you that, I won't be able to convince you either of the fact that it is in place or the fact that it is not stable. I can just tell you the answer right now, but to to actually convince you, I'll be able you know I'll be able to do that only when I discuss some of the technical details. And uh, I doubt that we'll have time today to do that, but let's see, because one of the things that needs to happen if you want to build an you know uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Well, uh, compare in terms of uh, time complexity, right? Yeah, so heap sort runs in order n log n. So heap sort. Have you actually done quick sort? I, I, I thought that. Uh, it's something you still need to do. Hmm. Yeah, so worst case is order n square, the average case is order n log n. Yeah. Now the uh, to explain that I'll need to get into quick sort, which I don't have time. But I can tell you, in, I mean, intuitively, what what is happening here is something similar to the reason I gave for why it's better to implement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Okay, uh, to understand that, you have to understand how heap sort works on this array in full, because right now I have not shown you how we actually transform this input array into a heap. Note that this array is not in the form of a heap right now. It's not, in, it, it, it doesn't have, even if you assume that it has the shape property, there is, the, the heap property is not satisfied anywhere. Right, so you have to first of all transform this array into a heap. That is going to take some time in heap sort. Hmm. It is order of n, but the constant factor is not that small. In in quick sort, you know, partitioning is a very very. I mean, you just have to do a linear scan. Even though this complexity is order n, still you know there are many operations that are happening when you. When you build a heap in 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 heap sort, whereas in quick sort, I mean the the steps themselves are very very simple. So it's it's kind of like what I yes yeah. So one way to look at complexity is to look at their asymptotic complexity. That's one way. Another way to look at complexity is to worry about the constant factor because in practice the constant factors are going to matter even though in theory they don't matter. And in theory, an algorithm that runs in order n log n time is sooner or later going to do better than 
an algorithm that takes order n square time uh, assuming that the input gets large enough but in practice the constant factors do make a difference that is why in fact we are implementing that is why we are implementing the heap as an array and not as a tree not as a, 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 a you know a tree with pointers to children and all the time complexity is going to be the same i mean if you look at the insert and the remove max operations that we have done even if you were to implement the heap in this particular way literally you know in your memory instead of in an array you can execute the same operations in 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 with the same time complexity but the constant factors are going to be different because when you implement it as an array here note that you know going going from parents to children first of all that's going to be a very simple operation because you you just have to do some you know left shift or right shifts and moreover your your array can be cached in the cache because you know when you bring one whole section of the array uh, when you read one section of the array when you access it that this whole array could potentially be brought into the cache in one shot whereas these pointers can be all over the place in memory right this node could be stored in one region of the memory and then you know you can follow this pointer then this node could be present in a very different region of the memory so you can't exploit caching when you when you have this sort of dynamic memory allocation and deallocation so that is going to make a difference in practice because accessing an array is going to be fast yeah yeah but what what i was saying was why why aren't we implementing we could implement it directly in the form of pointers and nodes right hmm yeah the way i have described it we are not using hmm well the constant factor is going to vary from machine to machine also so uh, it's hard to calculate it all depends on how you write your program so the the, the, the whole idea of worrying about asymptotic complex the reason why we look at asymptotic complexity is only to ignore all the specifications of the actual program that you write the actual uh, steps like for example the constant factor is going to be different depending on whether i execute uh, this operation as an integer division or whether as a simple shift operation so it's hard to characterize the constant factor to a number because you know the number that you get can at most be the number of operations where you're measuring each operation as one unit which is actually not accurate because different operations can have different it can take different times in reality so what i suggest is that uh, you worry about these questions maybe once you are familiar with all the sorting algorithms then we can probably uh, you know if we have future talks then we can probably come back and survey all the sorting algorithms specifically on uh, uh issues like you know whether one algorithm is whether this algorithm is stable or not or in place or not because uh it's going to be difficult to compare right now given that we don't have a context for other algorithms whether it's quick sort or insertion sort or merge sort so let's for now just uh, look at heap sort since that's i can tell you the answer but the details will you know uh, it, it it is not something that i may be able to answer in uh, you know few sentences so both these are going to take some time so we haven't even looked at build heap right now for example so maybe we want to um, hold off this these questions till a little time later and then you can raise them again once we have covered those operations because i think some of the other uh, people may be uh, those who have not studied build heap they may be you know they may be losing track of the yeah i mean experiment i mean th these are something that you'll need to look at experimental results it's it's to a certain extent you can use your intuition but i think finally you'll need to look at what experimental results show about which algorithms run faster intuitively i think heap sort 
you can think of heap sort as running slower in the average case because build heap operations are more complex than the partitioning step in quick sort because in partitioning step you're literally just i mean you you're just scanning the array once right in build heap you're doing something more than that you'll be you'll be accessing the same element potentially multiple times yeah but 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 in quick sort the the partitioning is i mean it's 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 just a linear scan so you're you're scanning the array once and then you're swapping elements as you're scanning in this case it's not like a simple linear scan and swapping 